What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. In a couple of my last um, day in my life vlogs, I've showcased a lot of my behind the scenes work life. And a lot of my work life obviously includes my, my YouTube business, but it also includes my Jamie Page Doodles business. About five and a half months ago, I started a stationery slash print slash sticker slash art shop. And this honestly started kind of on accident. I started sharing some of my digital art on Instagram and then I made a whole other page dedicated to my art. And then I started selling stickers of my art and prints and it just kind of grew from there. And now Jamie Page Doodles is like, it's like a thing. And in one of my last day in my life vlogs, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a more in-depth video on my entire Jamie Page Doodles process because there really is so much that goes into creating stickers and my little notepads and all of the things that Jamie Page Doodles has. And I think a lot of people may not even realize how much work actually goes into it. Honestly, I didn't realize how much work went into a, a shop like this when I started. I've been learning quite a bit over the last couple of months. So I decided to vlog my second half of my July drop, which is my new pins, my new hats, and my new uh, tote bags. And the day that this vlog is going live, the pins, the hats, and the totes are going to be available on the shops. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy seeing this. Um, let me know in the comments if you wanna see more Jamie Page Doodles content. Let's get right into it. So I wanted to rewind a little bit and give some context on the pins themselves. One of the biggest requests that I got from my community was to make enamel pins. And for whatever reason, I find enamel pins to be really intimidating to make because it's definitely a little bit more of a complicated process because with stickers, you design something, you send it in, and you get it back in vinyl form, and 99.9% .9 of the time, it's exactly what you expect. But with pins, there's so much more that could go wrong, and it's definitely much more of an investment compared to stickers. So I started doing my research, and about four months ago, I sent in my first design to become a pin. And that design is one of my original Jamie Page Doodles doodles and it is the bad bitches cry to sticker. so about a month later i got my pin in the mail and here it is so here's the bad bitches cry to sticker compared to the bad bitches cry to soft enamel pin so after getting this and being so happy with the way that this turned out i was like okay i'm ready to make more pins i'm ready to commit a little bit more so for the second time around i actually decided to go with another manufacturer because the manufacturer that i worked with they created a wonderful pin i was very happy with it but i wanted to find a manufacturer that also did screen printing on top of the enamel. Because with enamel pin, you basically have a border around every single element of your design and then that's filled up with the colored enamel. Now, some manufacturers are able to screen print on top of the enamel in order to create finer, more intricate details, which you wouldn't be able to get with this method because you have to create a border in order to get the color there. So there were two designs that I had in mind to create as pins. The first one was my Skate Don't Hate roller skate. This guy is part of the Nostalgia Collection. And then for the pin, I was recreating just the roller skate and I put Skate Don't Hate on the roller skate itself. The second design that I was dying to create into a pin was my Self Love Club mug that I have in my perfect morning sticker sheet. It's this guy right over here. Here's what the little sticker looks like and it's just too cute. I just feel like these little mugs were, were truly made to be pins. So I committed to both of those designs and I went to work. The first thing that I did was I had to simplify the designs just a little bit. Both of these doodles had a lot of detail in them. And while I was keeping some of the detail, I took away most of it because I didn't feel that it would translate well as a small little pin. So after I simplified everything, I then went ahead and did the whole Pantone color picking process, which took a while just to make sure that all the colors that were gonna be on the pin were as close to the original design as possible. And then I sent everything off to the manufacturer and I crossed my fingers and just prayed and hoped for the best. So it was just a waiting game from then on. And then one day I got a knock on my door and I got a little box filled with pins and here I am opening it up. So my vlog camera is currently charging and I just got a very exciting package that I've been waiting for for probably over a month now. So the timing isn't great. So I had to grab my phone to vlog this. So this package right over here, this tiny little package that actually weighs a ton, contains all of my new pins. Let's unbox this, I'm so excited. <gasps> 
there they are. We've got the self love club and then we have my little roller skates. Okay, let's open it up and actually see what they look like. Oh my God, I was so nervous, but they're really perfect. Oh, <gasps> they feel really great. They are hard enamel pins and then there's screen printing on top of it. And that's how I was able to get all the, that little detail. It's such a good size too. Then we have the self love club mug. It just turned out so good. And you see the little detail in the copy. That's screen printed on. I'm just looking at these now and realizing that I have a lot of work ahead of me with these guys because I'm not selling these just on their own like this. I am actually going to have to take the backing off of every single one of these and put them on a little backing card so that they could look a little bit more professional. Okay, I'm sitting here in my hot and very sweaty office right now. I'm sorry if you guys hear the air conditioning machine, but I literally cannot turn it off otherwise I will sweat to death. Last night, I actually designed the backing cards for the pins. What I typically do if I have to make any type of like printed asset is I will mock it up first in my office because obviously the last thing you want is to get 500 pieces printed and you realize it's no good. So it's always good to of course proof your designs. For the self love club mug, I actually want it to look like it was actually sitting on a table. I want it to look like it was in some type of setting. I thought it would just add to the cuteness. So I really, really like the way it turned out. Um, but now let's get it printed and see what it looks like. So the pin is gonna go like right here. It's, I'm hoping it's gonna look like the sun is kind of looking down at the mug and you have a little journal here, it's a bowl of Fruit Loops that says enamel pin on the bottom and Jamie Peach Doodles at the top. And then the second design is a little bit simpler. I just kind of use the colors on the rainbow from the skate. So here's what the card will look like. This is actually printed to scale, so it's three by two. And here's the Self Love Club pin. The placement and everything is amazing. I love the proportions. It's, it's perfect. All right, here's what the little skate looks like. I think this also looks great. Hello. So I have my skate pins my self-love club pins, as well as my Bad Bitches Cry 2 pins. And then I also have all of the pin backings, which I got printed. Let me try something out. And if only it was that quick. <laughs> Look at all of these pins. I am done. That honestly wasn't so bad. It didn't really take me as long as I thought it would. It took me about 45 minutes. I watched an entire Lily Pebbles vlog and as soon as she was like, okay, that's it, bye. I was putting my last pin in my last pin backing. So it wasn't so bad at all, but now I got to do that two more times. <laughs> So I needed to figure out how I wanted to package these pins. I find that most people, what they do is they'll put their pins on a backing and then they'll place the entire thing inside of a little plastic sleeve. And the sleeve is just there to obviously contain the pin, protect it from scratching, from moisture, from anything really that could happen during the uh, shipping process. I really wanted to avoid using plastic as much as possible, even though I did find some really great biodegradable options. I thought that getting a small little, almost like jewelry box would be an even better solution because it would definitely protect the pin perfectly while it's in transit because it'll be protected in a little box and that way I don't have to use any plastics. So I ordered a bunch of those little boxes and I also got some new mailers to fit these pins because um, the mailers that I have right now are just too big. All right, cute. So this is what the little box looks like. It's a little craft box and it actually has padding already in it, which is great. Look at that, they fit perfectly. Oh my God, that's perfect. 
Wow, oh my God, I'm so happy. This looks great. So now really the only thing that I need to figure out with these boxes is how to brand them and make them look cute. I'm thinking maybe putting some type of like sticker on the front. Then I also got, like I said, some new mailers. They're actually really cute because they're bright purple. Oh my God, these are amazing. <gasps> Holy shit, they're so bright. Okay, wait, let's put a box in and see if it fits. Perfect. My shipping is free on my website. I do cover all of the costs. So I need to make sure that the packaging that I choose not only makes sense with the product, but also makes sense with the shipping because if I get something that's just like super big because that's just what fits, I'm just gonna end up paying a lot more for shipping than I actually need to. So now let's design some stickers for these boxes to make them cute. So to create the stickers that were going to go on the boxes, I had an idea to have the photo of the actual doodle in the center of the sticker, and then just have very simple text on the top and bottom, just saying that it's an enamel pin, and then also saying obviously the name of the pin itself. And I actually went on to canva.com, was checking out their templates, and I found a really simple template that pretty much fit exactly what I was going for. And so I used that to make my stickers and it honestly worked out perfectly i've never used canva before and typically i just do everything myself on photoshop but this just made things really nice and simple and it gave me the exact look that i was going for So I printed the stickers myself just so that I could, you know, play with them, mock it up before I send these to the printers. I still wanted to see the size in relation to the box. I think the only element on these stickers that could stand to be a little bit bigger is the Jamie Page doodles on the bottom. You can barely even see it. But besides that, I really like how these turned out. I think they're super cute, really fun. And uh, I'm gonna send these off to the printer. Hello, I'm back. I'm actually sitting on the floor in my parents' house. This is my old bedroom. Oliver's here. He's going to help me put stickers on boxes. Say hi, Ali. So Ali, what we're going to do next is we're going to put all these stickers and all of the pins, the corresponding pins in each other. Okay, it's gonna be a good time. So the boxes, Ali. Aren't they gorgeous? You'd love a good box. All of the pins are in here. Ta-da! So let's do the first one together, shall we? So cute. Okay, so this needs to be pretty much centered. All right, there she is and find one of these beauties inside. One done, 300 to go. <laughs> why do you look so sad? <laughs> because your face isn't on a pin, is that why? Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll put you on a nice little pin. Are you team self-love club? Yeah, of course, you love yourself. And while I'm putting them in the boxes, I'm giving all the pins one last look over to make sure that they all look good. Um, because it is normal to sometimes have a couple pins that are considered B grades that have small imperfections, basically. So my mom is here now. And she has taken over sticking the stickers on the boxes so that I things can go a little bit quicker. I have a system and Oliver's it was, uh, control. Yeah, <laughs> quality control. Quality control, QC. This is what I've done so far. We have so much more to go. We have, I've barely even uh, uh, cracked the surface here, but hopefully with my mom here, I'll go a lot quicker. Let's do it.
hello. <laughs> it is Wednesday, July 21st, and I am hoping to launch everything on Friday. Today, I would like to finish everything that I have to do for this launch. So my last collection, I did not do that. I was doing things up until the very last minute and the stress level was about here. And I would like to not do that again. All I gotta do is just take photos of everything and some marketing material, I guess you could call it. I wanna make some fun uh, reels for Instagram. So that way I'll have something to officially announce and promote the launch, which is exciting because I actually haven't officially done that yet. I need to take photos of all the products. This is the part that has been giving me the most anxiety because I've had quite traumatic <laughs> photo taking experiences for Jamie Page doodles like the amount of times that I've taken photos and then retaken them Every time really so I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this uh, content creating day and then we are almost ready to launch So I was silly and I actually already started taking photos of the hats and then I was like, oh, yeah I should be vlogging this. These actually look really good. I think they're probably going to be Good to go. Oh, yeah Oh yeah, cute. Oh my God, this is the cheesiest picture ever. Okay, I actually really like these photos, but as you can see, I try to take a photo of the back, but because I can't see, I was completely off center. So I am going to um, redo those. And I also did not take a close-up shot of the yellow hat. So I'm gonna do that too. Wait a second, I don't think I ever officially introduced the hats to the vlog. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> so here's what the front of the hat looks like. It says Doodle Team on the front in four different embroidered colors. And this is actually also my handwriting. And then on the back, we have this little heart smiley guy and it says Jamie Page Doodles on the back as well. It's super, super cute. It's really simple. I just wanted a cute little hat for uh, people who wanted to represent the doodle team. <laughs> this was like very, very, very highly requested and so I had to make it happen and I did. And I'm really, really happy with the way that these turned out. These are also all embroidered locally, which is really awesome as well. Um, and uh, they come in three different colors. So we have the taupe and then we have this beautiful buttery yellow color. And then of course we have the blue. I think the blue may be my favorite. It's just such a beautiful kind of like periwinkle blue and this one is stonewash so it has a little bit of distressing to it so now that i have the photos done for the hats let's do the totes <laughs> so i'm trying to think of what i could put around this that would kind of be cute because with the plant tote i could definitely put some plants around it and i think that would be really really cute for the product photo but for this guy i don't know what to do what do i do with you Maybe because the I Need Space Kitty is so sassy, it, it like needs some sunglasses <laughs> next to it. I feel like it makes sense because when you don't want people to approach you, you put on like those big sunglasses, you don't take them off when you're inside and you have this tote. Nobody's good, nobody's coming near you. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Oh my God, is this gonna be like an easy photo shoot day or what? So for the plant tote, obviously because we have plants here, I think it just makes sense to have a couple different plants around around it and uh, it works because I have so many plants in my office, so that's good. Okay, this plant just looks sad. <laughs> These look so good, I'm so happy. That's done. Those are the easy ones though. I feel like the pins are gonna be a little bit trickier just because I do want them to have a bit more of like a theme around the photos. For example, the self-love club pin. I want there to be a journal, maybe a coffee mug, maybe even a bowl of Fruit Loops because I do have some Fruit Loops here and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which I didn't end up using for props um, for my nostalgia collection. I bought these specifically for that. I've just been eating it instead. <laughs> so maybe I'll put that in a bowl. Maybe having a nice little plant over here could be cute. I want a book. This is really pretty colors. I like that. I need like a coffee mug. Perfect. Let's put something in it. <laughs> I am watering all my plants. All those plant photos did remind me to do that. Cute. Okay, wait, I'm not done. Food styling. Didn't know this would be part of the job, but here we are. 
feel like karma is repaying me for having so much trouble with uh, photos in the past because this is just almost too easy. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I wanna do for Bad Bitches Cry 2. This one's a little bit more difficult because there's not like a super obvious theme that goes with this. I feel like it needs to be Bad Bitch themed and I don't know what that even means. Wait, I have kind of a fun idea. Maybe I'll do the sunglasses, my purse, and then have like a napkin with like a call me number and a kiss mark. Does that scream bad bitch? That does scream confidence. Hmm, this is nice. <laughs> Revlon Shine and Lustrous in 017. It's kind of cute. Is this bad bitch? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Bad bitches cry too. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the last pin is the little roller skate. I want the background to just have like a really fun, somewhat nostalgic feel. And I actually have this really random holographic fanny pack in my office. So I think we could definitely use this and it'll look really, really fun. Um, and I also have rainbow sunglasses because there are obviously rainbow elements on the pin as well. So let's use that. Took the photos, love the way they turned out. I held the pin like this so you saw the holographic pouch in the background and a little bit of the of the uh, sunglasses and it just works perfectly. Now I need to do some like promo videos and reels and stuff like that. So I am going to do something cute. What am I gonna do? I don't know. But let's start off first with the hats because I think that's gonna be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Here comes the boy. <laughs> change from the plant one to the cat and uh, I'm gonna take a bowl of Fruit Loops out of it. I don't know, like a Mary Poppins bag. It's, this is just how my brain works. <laughs> After taking all the photos and videos, I then spent the next about two hours editing all of the photos to get them ready for the website. Okay, so I am done editing all the photos and now it's time to start putting everything on the website. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to weigh everything. The reason why I do that is because when I create shipping labels, I need to have the weight for the entire package. So Shopify will calculate the weight of the entire package automatically just based off of the box that I'm using and whatever's inside of it so that I don't need to do it manually every single time. So I have my little scale over here. So let's do hat. So one hat is 74 grams. One tote, 128 grams. And then a pin is eight grams. I also have new packaging that I have to weigh. So we have these new mailers, 18 grams. And then I have this new box. And this is 248 grams. I also need to measure. <laughs> the box and the new mailer so let's do that now too so it is thursday now and i'm launching everything tomorrow the last thing that i'm going to do with you guys is i'm going to just prep the space get it ready for tomorrow because right now things are so messy it's almost embarrassing i mean things just get really wild and crazy <laughs> at jamie page doodles headquarters like everything just 
goes everywhere. So I want to organize this entire space and just get it ready for packing orders for tomorrow. Why is this here? guys that's it i don't think i have anything more to show you this has been such a long vlog <laughs> i've been filming this for such a long time i can't believe i'm actually ending it i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes look at jamie page doodles and how i do things i love you guys and i will see you in the next one